today is going to be a little bit more lax of a stream, let me tell you. So I was looking on uh, Instagram and I saw, I believe, Academics and T Grizzly talking about the best burgers and the best fries. And I thought, you know what? I'm a foodie. My wife's a foodie. Um, we oftentimes will just find excuses to go out around Arizona where we live and find the dopest places to eat. We love all kinds of food. I'm a little more outgoing than my wife, but my wife certainly loves her fair share of American, Asian, Greek, uh, barbecue. Barbecue is its own category. Um, and fast food. So um, I thought today we could talk about the best fries. And I'm not going to get into restaurant fries because restaurant fries vary from state to state because certain coasts and certain states don't have the restaurants that you have. So a lot of times the restaurants obviously are going to have better fries in many cases than most of the fast food joints. But if my top three is three places you never even heard of, that's going to be not cool. <laughs> so I wanted to do something that we could all relate to and we're going to leave it to fast food fries. Now, the one advantage that we have on our side is the fact that fast food has now upgraded. We now have these kind of middle of the road fast food joints that are somewhere between, you know, I consider McDonald's, Wendy's, Jack in the Box, Taco Bell, all these places, bottom of the barrel fast food. But there's this new category right in the middle between fast food and restaurant, but still fast food. I call it premium fast food. These are your places like Culver's, Freddy's, In-N-Out, um, Smash Burger, Five Guys, Shake Shack. You know, these are your places that are burger and fry joints that are just a little bit up in the quality of the ingredients, so we think, um, and they claim to have, you know, above average uh, fast food, specifically burgers and fries. I know I'm leaving some out. Freddy's is another one that comes to mind um, as far as the middle of the road. And I understand some of you guys aren't going to have these locations, but that's cool. Look these places up. If you're on the West Coast, I'm in Arizona, so a lot of the places that are here you can find in Cali, New Mexico, you know, the whole West Side. And so I know I'm going to leave some out, but let's just go into it. This is free flow. Um, we're not going to be hold, hold myself to a stringent list here. So without further ado... I'm just going to think out loud. There's different categories of fries. Burgers has to be its own episode. But with fries specifically, I think about a few things. Now, you have skinny fries. You have middle si medium fries, which are like middle of the road as far as width. That typically tends to be what people love. But you've got some extremists out there that love the chunky fries or just the skinny fries. But most people sit in that kind of middle fry road where they want the medium-sized fries. Now, you have soft, you have crispy, and you have crinkly. Crinkly fries are going to have that more wedgy wave to them. And uh, so I'm thinking about all these different categories, you know, what place. And then there's also uh, beer battered where it's like they kind of take a seasoning like a Lari's or like a beer battered crispy flavored fry spin on fries and those are going to be like your brown type of fries jack-in-the-box curly fries is going to be a great example of that where they're kind of brown on the top a little bit more crispy than usual um, and then you've got loaded fries so we're going to leave loaded fries which is like your chili your cheese all your condiment fries out of the window we're just going to say bare bones who has the best fries on the bottom of the barrel cheap side as well as the premium fast food fries. Now, if I have to pick the cheapest fries ever, oh, and one more category, freshness. There's many places where if their fries are fresh, they are bomb, or they're at least tolerable. They're good. They're middle of the road fries. Some places, if their fries are not cooked properly or they're cold, they're terrible. They age terribly with time. I'll give you a great example of this. In-N-Out Bear Fries. If you order the bear, 
by bear, I mean non-animal style fries. No sauce, no cheese, no nothing. Those fries, after about five minutes of being out in the air, are terrible. They're like little cigarettes. <laughs> they're, they're stiff. They're disgusting. Same with McDonald's fries. Now, if I had to pick bottom of the barrel fast food fries in no particular order, I'm going to think out loud and free flow this. I have to say that Jack in the Box curly fries are up there. Why? Because there's not many places you can get kind of the beer battered. Now, again, these aren't truly beer battered fries, but they're they're of that. They're trying to pull that off when they make these fries is to say these got a little extra spank on the seasoning and they're a little crispier than your average fry. So in that category, I have to throw Jack in the Box curly fries up there simply because there's not a lot of places with curly fries. Another uh, one up there in the seasoned fry category is going to be Taco Bell. Now, a lot of you guys are saying, how the heck does Taco Bell have fries? Well, most of the time they don't, but seasonally they come out with nacho fries. If any of you, had, if any of you have had fresh nacho fries that come with the cheese, whether you get them with cheese or not, those things smack. You will not find another fry that has a similar flavor palette, but is extra crispy. All of these are medium-sized fries, and they're absolutely insane. On that seasoned fry list as well, most of you guys don't have these, but I know some of you guys do. It, this, this franchise is kind of somewhat going out of business in certain territories. But checkers and rallies, when we talk about seasoned fries, that beer battery crispiness, but added uh they they do the kicker here which is pepper they're the only two places that will add pepper in the mix of that batter so you get a little bit more spank and heat kick on the fries is going to be rallies and checkers and those fries are phenomenal if they are fresh now on the regular fry side on the cheap side they're all kind of equal, like fresh McDonald's fries, low key slaps if you haven't had them in a while. But if that's all you eat, then it's kind of bottom of the barrel because you have like a 25 percent chance that they're going to be fresh. And if they're just mediocre or, you know, they've been out in the fryer for a while, they're just absolute trash. Um, uh, what else on regular fries? Wendy's has changed their fries where they're going for more a medium fry that's crispy rather than like a large potato-y fry. And by the way, if you've made it this far in the video, you're like, dude, you're, you're pathetic. You sh no one should ever know this much <laughs> about fast food. Well, I definitely do. Between my high school and college days alone, I have an insane amount of experience <laughs> in this space. Um, nowadays, you know, at the tender young age, I'm going to say of 34, um, I've dialed back in, you know, uh, three or four times a week I eat, um, you know, plant-based, um, but I definitely still eat whatever I want, but I have a lot more balance to my, uh, palate as, uh, from week to week. But anyways, on the regular fry side, um, McDonald's definitely slaps Wendy's slaps. If the fries are fresh, they've made more of like a medium fry. That's more fried. So it's got that crispy soft. That's the key, man. Medium size, crispy soft, and then either the beer battered flare or the curly router regular. I'm all for all of that. Um, what else? What a burger fries are pretty much on the same palate as McDonald's. If they're fresh, they almost taste exactly the same. Um, what else am I missing? Burger King, no. Burger King's fries do not slap. Don't hit me up in the comment section because they don't. Um, who could I possibly be missing in the cheap fast food? Hmm. I think that's about it. If I'm missing a place, please let me know in the comments. I know I got to be missing like a sneaky little, you know, taco place or something like that who's got some fries. Now let's move to the premium section. Premium section, we are talking about places like In-N-Out, Five Guys, uh, Shake Shack, um, BurgerFi, um, did I say Culver's, Freddy's, uh, Chick-fil-A, um, 
Canes. Um, yeah, I think I named most of them, if not all of them, as far as burger joints. Okay, so there's a couple things that I think of first off. Five Guys. Again, this is no particular order because Five Guys definitely isn't up there for me. But Five Guys is the only place that has Cajun. And what I like about their fries is they're about medium to thick. So they're on the thicker side, medium to large in terms of the width. But they're always fresh. They make them on the spot and they're crispy and they're Cajun. You can get Cajun fries, which is like one of the only spots as far as uh, fast food eating where you can get Cajun fries. So because they're a one of one, I got to kind of throw them up there. They definitely slap uh, with that burger. And you can order a little fry and it'll feed three to four people without question. So it's dope to just be able to order one fry, feed the whole family because they, they overflow the fries and then throw them upside down in the bag. And that's intentional. Um, what else? Um, I'm not a big crinkle fry guy, but if you're into kind of the medium to large fry, that's crinkle fries with the wavy kind of stuff. Um, definitely, um, Culver's is the best crinkle fry out there, period. And that's if I have to eat crinkle fries because they always come out super crispy, but still soft because it's a medium fry. The one fast food place I left out that slaps, uh, is KFC. Listen to me, guys, in terms of beer battered fries, if you get fresh KFC fries, that's the disclaimer, they absolutely slap because they're beer battered, and I believe they're even peppery. I think, dang, you know what, thinking now, Popeye's, if, if Popeye's, they have Cajun fries too, Popeye's fries slap too if they're fresh, but like 50% of the places I just named, if you're not getting fresh fries there, just run. Just run. You're, <laughs> you want to step up to the premium caliber fast food uh, where you know they're always making the fries fresh. Animal style fries in and out, one of one. You can't replace those if you ever have fries. And now, again, I, I said we'll leave loaded fries out, but I don't know if I consider in and out fries loaded, even though they are, just because, like, who goes to In-N-Out and orders their fries bare unless they just don't like the secret sauce from In-N-Out, in which case it's like, why are you even going for the burger? Like, okay. You know, some people swear by um, In-N-Out burger is like the best burger joint. And that's just like completely false, but this isn't a burger episode. Um, burger fi, if you guys have one absolutely slaps, they're just regular, you know, American fries, no seasoning, no nothing, but they're just perfectly made. They got really good sauces there. Um, Canes, no. Canes is not a place you go for fries. The fries hit, but only because the chicken hits harder. Let's be real. Um, Freddy's, skinny fries, don't like them. Smash Burger is phenomenal because you can get like... Um, rosemary garlic fries and different stuff like that and they're fresh made and they're medium cut now they used to have skinny fries but those absolutely slap um what else i gotta be leaving some places out i know it shake shack i think they have crinkle fries too shake shacks on the same par with uh culver's they have the crinkle fries if you're into that, but really you only go to Shake Shack for the burgers, the fries. Again, it's like the cane effect. The, fr the fries only slap because the burger slaps. Um, what else for premium fries? I know I'm leaving some places out because I went with all the uh, weaker ones first. So we got beer battered. What about regular cut fries though? You know, a lot of places on the premium level just aren't coming with regular fries anymore. They're loading them out or they're beer battering them. Um, dang, man, I might have to end the episode. I know I've gone through like 20 different restaurants. So if you need fry recommendations, I've definitely given you plenty of options. But sound off in the comments, guys. If I left any places out, I know I did. But if you want to know what fries slap and I bet you some of these places you didn't even know had fries. Like most people don't even know Taco Bell seasonally carries beer battered fries, which absolutely slap. Um, but yeah, maybe we'll do an episode on like best 
sauces at fast food joints. Oh, the waffle fries at um, Chick-fil-A slap, but they're so plain, you know? It's like those have to be fresh for them to be okay. And again, it's the cane effect. They only slap because the chicken slaps. So I don't know, man. Um, but yeah, sound off in the comments if there's one that I left out either on the cheaper fast food side or on the premium fast food side. Let me know if you disagree with any of my analysis. Uh, I think I have plenty of data, <laughs> too much information for most on uh, fry spots. But if you haven't had any of those spots, uh, I'm sure your guys' uh, appetite just got kicked up right now and you want to eat. I know my wife wants me to go pick her up something right now, so I'm going to do that. But um, check out one of those spots. If there was a place that you had never been before because you didn't know they had fries or you just hadn't been there for whatever reason, definitely go check them out and let me know which place you wound up stopping at. Um, like and subscribe if you're not already. We talk about all things um, art making, music making, faith-based lifestyle, um, food, fitness, all kind of stuff. This channel is really just about me and the things that go on in my life. I put a camera to it and you guys end up with it. There's no real structure. Maybe in the future I'll have a couple of different channels for specific things. But I'm just not that narrow of a person and I don't need to make an income off of YouTube. So I'd rather just give people a variety of stuff and let people tune in um, for whatever content that they feel inclined to. So again, thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed that episode on the best fries. Peace.